this is Todd Hogan, and I am Elijah Hogan's father, and I give ArmistGame.com uh, permission to use this video for their marketing and advertising purposes, whatever they, way they deem fit. And now I'd like to turn the time over to Eli, who's going to demonstrate and give us a review of Armist Game. Before I do that, though, I would like to mention a couple things about Eli. Eli is a very bright child. Um, he's a second grader at one of the charter schools here locally and uh, has moved up two grades in math. He's kind of a math whiz, scored extremely high in all of his math scores. Um, similarly, in reading, he's also... Are you two grades ahead, Eli? What? How many grades ahead are you in reading? It's either one or two grades in reading as well, but uh, a great reader for his age, reading far ahead of schedule and doing a fantastic job. Um, pretty much uh, a bit of a chess player, a bit of a game player in general, and has uh, happened upon Armus and wanted to do a good review for it. So Eli, why don't you demonstrate the game for us, talk us through it, and play it the way you know best. Okay, Eli? Alright, you can talk to the video if you'd like, or say whatever you feel fit. Okay, so this is the game of Armas, and these are all the people. So he just moved this guy, and he's the mover, and he can push all the people that go into water and can't move on land. So he can push the aircraft carrier, submarine, and the coastal guard. And so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my vice president. This is my vice president and his duty is second command and he can move one, two, three or four units erupted straight line spaces, any direction on land, or own sea active vessels, if properly accessed. And his power is, can capture any of opponent's pieces except nuke. The nuke is this. You don't need to give that much detail, just go ahead, just play. Just tell what piece you're using. This is very good though, there's just too much. You're almost too good. So go ahead and just play. Just say what your piece you're moving. Okay. And he moved right there. So I might as well move to right here so I can get my army out. And I... I'm going to move him so he can attack him, and he will, and he'll destroy him so I can win my game. And he just moved my army just like I moved my army. So I go right there so I can attack him. So he moves right there because he's trying to avoid me. And so I'm just going to do some other stuff. Like I can take out my president. And he's the president. Go right there. And so, he moved right there. Wait. And so, I'm gonna move him right there. But he can protect him, because he can move anywhere forward. So if he destroys him, he will get destroyed. And it's not a very good trade, 
if you trade a vice president for a marine, because marines are really good. Um, so he moved right there, and honestly, I don't really know why he went there. So I'll take him. Can anybody destroy me? No. So, I go right there. Describe what piece it is your movie. Like, just say what piece it is your movie each time. And so, this guy can move two spaces anywhere. So, say, say what it is. It's an army. And you can remove any opponent's pieces except nuke and, dip and diplomat. So, I will take this guy. Oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't do that. So instead of taking that guy, I will take this guy. And that person is the jet. And the jet can attack people from. So if he if he moves, he can move four, six, or eight, and anything in the middle of that place he, he can destroy. So I want to destroy him. Okay, so he moved right there. And now, I'm going to move right here. Since he destroyed the, the jet, if he moved six spaces, if he moved to the four, he would have destroyed him. So, now I can destroy him. He is the mover. He can move the, the water people, just as I said. So, he moved right there with his army, okay? And so, I am going to go right here, so I can defend him off. So, he moves right there, so he's getting to, ready to attack. And I will go right there. These guys, these guys get destroyed because if you destroy the child, these guys die. Now he's getting ready to attack, so I move right there. So, this is the flag, and I am going to destroy him. And if you destroy the flag, you win the game. So, I am going to go and win the game. See? There you go. Thanks for watching Armis. And this is a very awesome game. And I can explain. So I'll tell you all the other pieces that you didn't learn about because I didn't use all of them. So first about this is the aircraft carrier. He can move into waters and destroy everybody in the water that's going into the water. And the submarine can do the same thing except he can move further than the aircraft carrier. And then there's the media. And the media is just 
you know, he can. He just does nothing. He just gives you newsly reports so you can know what's happening in the world. And then there's the religion. Yeah, the religion got destroyed. And the religion can. He just does, he's kind of like the media, except he can't, except he gives, it's the religion. And then you've got the helicopter. The helicopter is kind of the same thing as the jet, except he can't move as far, so the jet is powerful. He could move four, so one, two, three, four, or I mean, he can move three or four. And, and then there's the reserver. The reserver can, so, it says right, so it says. <coughs> it's the reserve. It's, no, it's not called the reserver, but it's just the reserve. And so, if three of your military people die up to nine, then he can get activated and everybody has to move every have to, to, has to move like all your military people like your military people are the people who can fight people like this guy the coastal guard aircraft carrier submarine marines and that's just an example of what army guys are and then there's the diplomat and he can destroy the nuke. This is the nuke. The nuke can, like, blow up. And he can destroy anything in the range of two spaces. So he can go, like, right there, like, all around here. And he can destroy everybody in that range. When would you use the nuke? Um, you would use the nuke. So, when, when the diplomat and the child are have been destroyed that's when you can use a nuke because if the diplomat and the child are the only people who can destroy the nuke so if you just go over there and then you, and the diplomat is there he just he couldn't do anything because he would get removed from the board but when you do that he could go up there you get close to the flag and then you just explode and then you've got the child the child can destroy the nuke just like the diplomat. Except he can move four spaces instead of three, and he can move three spaces. And there you go.